Alright, this is my uh, Sega Dreamcast unit, um, bar top arcade unit. Uh, it took me a few weekends to build. Um, the controller I purchased separately um, on eBay from the X Arcade company. It lets me play um, any game, you, uh, any game system you can think of um, that's not older than the original Xbox, Dreamcast, GameCube, uh, what have you. Um, for games older than that, I'm going to be putting in a laptop to play older games on there, and that won't be a problem because they're pretty low in file size. Um, but yeah, this took me a few weekends to build. Um, probably cost me around um, $120 for all the supplies needed to build this since I already had tools and I already had that controller. Um, the TV or the monitor computer monitor only cost me ten dollars at a garage sale and I was able to actually mount it back there so yeah I don't know if you can see that yeah there's so there's no uh, mount or no baseboard for that um, I turned off the light on this camera so you could see the orange light in here when I turn it off so right back there that's just LED lights um, I need to probably just buy one big orange light in there to make it brighter in the future but um, as Shauna was saying, um, yeah, it probably is good the way it is, but you know, I'll just roll with that for now. Um, this stencil, um, or this marquee, I did with, uh, I just printed out regular, you know, just this logo on two sheets of paper, and then cut up the stencil. Um, I have pictures if anybody's interested. Um, cut up the stencil and then spray painted over it, and I did it all pretty quickly in just one. Uh, one Sunday afternoon, so that's why you see you see um, some choppiness there, but it kind of has its own appeal now. I like to believe. Let me turn on the light again. Yeah, so right there, I was going for a Dreamcast swirl, but since I was trying to tape it down with newspaper and just cut out um, swirl lines on newspaper in the wind outside when it was like 200 degrees outside in Houston humidity, uh, that's what I ended up with, but it kind of looks like the Egyptian hier hieroglyph uh, Ra, um, which I also like Egyptian mythology and stuff, so that actually kind of works out as well. Also, um, I was just playing the game Res, uh, it didn't come out in North America, I burned it online, so I was able to play it on my Dreamcast in there. But anyway, the first level, they you're kind of going through a 3D version of, of Egypt, and you see the raw symbol, so I'll just point to that if anybody wants to say anything about it. But yeah, so this is it for now. Um, don't have much more time, but here's the insides. I uh, got the controller there for the memory card, the Dreamcast, and the VGA map, uh, adapter for the Dreamcast. So yeah, so that's that's it. Just hit my leg, and um, yeah, so. I'm going to get at this, and uh, oh yeah, and then here's my other little mini arcade. So now I have an arcade, so if you want admission, just let, just, uh, let me know you want some admission, and uh, I can cut you a deal so you can play that little thing, and that when I get batteries, and you can try to win your money back in that thing, um, and then you can play this whenever I'm not using it. But anyway, uh, this is it, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.